Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash, Supergirl, Superman and Lois, Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, and Black Lightning. We're going to be talking about all of the new information. We got a whole load of information that came out today. I'm going to be making another video tomorrow in regards to what's happening with Melissa and Supergirl's filming for Season 6, because there was too much to pack into this one video. So that's going to be coming out tomorrow. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, we got so much information to go over right in one day. And I mean, like, you guys know if you follow the channel regularly, there hasn't been that much news and the news is very spread out. But always when one piece of news comes out that's very big and everyone gets talking, they release another one. And this is what happened. We had three pieces of news today. We're going to go over two today and, like I said, one tomorrow in my Supergirl video. So, yeah, let's talk about this. We need to talk about what is going on in regards to the episode count and also the premiere dates for the shows. Because we got every single premiere date for the shows apart from Supergirl, Stargirl and Legends of Tomorrow, which are coming out much later in the year. However, we got all the episode counts for all those shows. So first off, let's go over the episode counts. So recently we found out that Supergirl Season 6, which will be its final season, will have 20 episodes. That's been confirmed once again. This confirms this is going to be the longest running show this season. So that means, you know, it's going to have the most episodes out of all the DC TV shows out there. So yeah, Supergirl Season 6, its final season, is going to have 20 episodes. I think it's actually very fitting that it has the most, and it has the most time to explore and end the show. So I'm very pleased that Supergirl is getting 20 episodes. Let's move on to the next show, that is The Flash. For Season 7, The Flash is going to have only 18 episodes, and I'm a bit surprised by this. I'm not surprised by the 18 number, I'm surprised that Batwoman has more episodes than The Flash, because... The Flash is considered, and for sure, it's the most popular Arrowverse show on the CW. And it does the best of the CW, but then they give it a lesser episode count. So I'm a bit intrigued to do with what the decision making was behind that. However, 18 episodes sounds reasonable. Two episodes off of Supergirl is not bad at all. I would say 18 is a great number. I would say I was expecting 18, probably if I was making a guess. I knew it would be somewhere between 16 and 20. No one was going over 20 episodes for sure this season. However, this seems pretty good for The Flash. 18 episodes for Season 7. Let's move on to Superman and Lois Season 1, which will have 13 episodes. So, not that much. It's going to have the same amount as Legends and Black Lightning. I think it's interesting to see that it's a smaller episode count. Does that mean that, you know, when Superman and Lois gets to Season 2, Season 3, are they going to have longer episode counts it seems to be when a show starts with 13 episodes it never actually reaches like a 20 episode count because Batwoman started with a high episode count and has stayed with that since then and you know it's on season 2 now Black Lightning started with a low episode count and so did Legends and they've never got up to 20 episodes per season so is Superman and Lois gonna be more like that we'll have to wait and see so yeah 13 episodes for season 1 we got Batwoman Season 2, which is 19 episodes. So again, this is more episodes than The Flash. So Season 2 of Batwoman is going to have 19 episodes, which is smack bang right between The Flash and Supergirl. It's a lot of episodes. I think we were expecting about 18 for the show as well, because they're committed to having this as a longer running show, like Supergirl and like The Flash, who get normally around 20 episodes every year. So, you know, it seems like Batwoman is headed to be one of the main CW shows. It's felt like that for a while, and seeing that it has more episodes than Flash, I think this just confirms it. Like, when Supergirl ends, I think they intend to make Batwoman, like, one of the leading, sort of, Arrowverse members out there. Let's move on to Legends of Tomorrow Season 6. This is going to have 13 episodes. Pretty normal for Legends. I was expecting this. This actually confirms that Legends isn't going to reach 100 episodes in season 6 which is very curious because I thought they would have you know extended it to meet the 100 episode count does this mean that we're gonna get a legend season 7 it seems likely maybe they will do what Supergirl is doing ending in season 7 I think that's kind of likely for legends so we'll have to wait and see black lightning season 4 is gonna have 13 episodes again to be expected let's move on to the next thing 
And so the next thing that I wanted to talk about was the Arrowverse premiere dates for all of our shows. And as of right now, we've got confirmation of four of our shows. That is Batwoman, Black Lightning, The Flash, and Superman and Lois. Obviously, there are some big exceptions there that have not been said. I said this earlier in the video, and I'll get back to it in a minute. But let's go over these premiere dates for the Arrowverse shows. So for a while, it's been said they were going to premiere in January. And it seems like that has shifted. They've actually delayed the shows to premiere a bit later apart from Batwoman because where Batwoman is going to be airing is exactly where I thought The Flash would be airing this year with Superman and Lois but instead it's over a month later like a month and five days over so you know that is quite a lot over what I was expecting and what everyone was expecting so Batwoman season 2 this is the first premiere day this is coming January 17th this is exactly the time when I thought Batwoman would air and it's interesting to see that Batwoman is starting so early compared to the other shows because there's going to be like a three week gap between the next Arrowverse premiere which is going to be Black Lightning Season 4 which will premiere February the 8th. So we're into February and I really thought they would start in January. Does this mean with the show starting so late are they going to end in the summer? What are they going to do? It's going to be very curious to see actually you know the full-on schedule like when we see the final finale date will it be in July or something I think it definitely could be at this point considering that the flash is gonna have like 18 episodes Batwoman possibly will finish earlier in like May time maybe if they don't have any breaks and we'll have to wait and see if they have breaks because that hasn't been confirmed yet and this is not a normal year so now moving on to The Flash for its season 7 premiere date which is going to be February the 23rd and this is going to be on the exact same day that Superman and Lois season 1 premieres as well. So interesting fact The Flash is the only show that has stayed on its date that being Tuesday night 8 7 central since it premiered and I think that goes to show how popular it is the fact that everyone knows go to the CW. Tuesday, 8, 7 central, The Flash is going to be on. I think that goes to show how popular the show is. And so, yeah, February 23rd, this is an entire month and a bit later than Batwoman's premiere day. I'm very shocked by this. I honestly thought it would be coming out around January 17th, around where Batwoman is right now, because that's when they kind of teased us that it was going to come, and now we have to wait, like, over a month longer, which is a very long time. Obviously, we'll get trailers, we'll get promos, we'll get photos, we'll get insights into it, probably in December. However, it's still a long time to wait, and it's extended by a whole month. So I'm curious why they did that, and why they're premiering Batwoman so early compared to all of these other shows. So yeah, at the next time slot, where Legends would normally be, is Superman and Lois Season 1, February 23rd, their premiere date. Really looking forward to Season 1 of Superman and Lois, very curious to see how they go forward with the show because it's a Supergirl spin-off after all and Supergirl will be ending this year. And I'll talk more about Supergirl's episode structure in tomorrow's video because there's a possibility that Supergirl may go on until, you know, 2022 at this point. I think they might split the season up, which is very curious to see, but check out tomorrow's video when the time comes. Now, let's talk about the final thing that I want to talk about. So that is all the episode counts and that is... All the premiere dates that you need to know and just to say Supergirl's premiere date, Stargirl and Legends all their respective new seasons are going to come at a much later date. They are closer to say January, February, March I think around that time we're gonna get the official date for them premiering. It should be around May slash June time which is a spring release date, it's a mid-season release date for you know our other shows because they start in January their mid-season will be around May time and then you know that's when Supergirl Legends and Stargirl should all come out and potentially Supergirl will go on longer because it's 20 episodes I don't think they're gonna run all summer I think they'll have a break and then they'll run again probably in the fall like along with you know the Flash season 8 and stuff. The final thing I want to talk about is that apparently it takes 20 days to film two episodes of Superman and Lois currently and so that's interesting to see that they have started shooting and if we go by that that means it may take Supergirl 22 
to 24 days to film two episodes because it usually takes them eight to nine days in the first place. So it seems like everything is going to be much slower and with the news today regarding Melissa, which we're going to cover in tomorrow's video, it seems like Supergirl episode is going to take a lot longer to finish than the other shows and also than normal. So everything's changed. Don't worry, I'll go over all the Supergirl stuff tomorrow because we got a lot to talk about and I don't want to cram it all into one video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped you out. Remember, I'm doing the live streams every week. Possibly I may slot in a live stream before the end of the month just because I want to test dates. But, you know, I'll let you guys know. Stay active on the community tab. Turn on your notifications. I'll let you know of other videos. Or follow me on social media at the DC TV Show on Twitter and Instagram. That's where you can find me. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.